Dr. Grover is an esteemed consultant specializing in internal medicine, rheumatology, and nephrology with over 20 years of experience. He holds a special interest in kidney problems, including kidney transplantation, sensitized and ABO incompatible kidney transplantation, hemodialysis, CAPD, and critical care nephrology. Dr. Grover studied medicine at Ames, New Delhi, and qualified with his medical degree in 1998. Post that, he continued his association with Ames as MD, medicine from 1999 to 2001, and then in clinical immunology and rheumatology from 2002 to 2006. He went on to pursue his doctorate in nephrology at PGI MER from 2006 to 2009. He has been practicing in the field of nephrology since 2009 and has been associated with highly reputed hospitals including St. Stephen's Hospital, Fortis Vasant Kunch, Fortis Escorts, Fortis CDOC, and Holy Family Hospital. He is presently associated as Senior Consultant Nephrology with Max Super Specialty Hospital, Sackett, and has been practicing here since 2013. We are so thankful to have Dr. Grover with us. We thank him from the bottom of our heart for lending his support for healthcare education. So kidneys are uh, one of the vital organs of the body. Vital organs means the organs uh, without whose function the body cannot survive or cannot be healthy. Just like heart, just like liver, they are the vital organs. So whenever a vital organ is affected, it has a lot of uh, symptoms and signs which come over there and the body becomes weak because if they are, the vital organs are markedly affected, the person cannot survive if they are severely affected. And of course, there are different grades, so the disease can be a early stage or it could be a late stage and the symptoms vary according to this. Uh, the uh, most simple way of understanding the kidney function is that kidneys are the blood filtering organs of the body or they are involved in the waste management of the uh, body. Liver is the factory of the body, that it is the one where the production of uh, various things, uh, synthetic things like albumin, cholesterol, etc. occurs. While all the toxins, predominantly kidneys are the major organ which remove the toxins uh, in form of urea, in form of uric acid, uh, in form of the acids that are produced uh, during uh, the body's functioning. So they are the waste removal organs of the body. Uh, whatever we eat, uh, the toxin removal to some extent does occur from the liver also, it occurs from the intestine also, but the predominant organ is the kidneys. Uh, uh, you'll be surprised to know that kidneys really work very hard so they filter uh, what we call blood and uh, to try to understand how much we say what is called a glomerular filtration rate uh, GFR. Uh, glomerulus is the basic filtering unit so when we look at the kidneys the basic unit of the kidneys is a nephron. Uh, so each kidney is made up of around one and a half one to one and a half million nephrons in each kidney. And these nephrons uh, can be simply thought to be having two parts, major parts. One is the glomerulus where the filtration takes place and the tubule where the concentration and excretion and reabsorption of the filtrate takes place and the end product is the urine. So that is what's occurring. So a kidney on an average, each nephron is filtering some blood and when you sum up what the whole kidney is filtering, that is called a glomerular filtration rate. So on an average, a kidney filters around 90 to 120 ml of blood in a minute. This is called the GFR or normal GFR. And kidney has a tremendous reserve. It can filter under up to 150 ml of blood in a minute. Uh, and uh, if you start calculating it out, so let's say if you just take a value of 100 and you multiply with 10, in 10 minutes is a liter. So in an hour it is around 6 liters and in 24 hours something like 144 liters. So that is the amount of blood that has been filtered and this is just average can be a bit more than that also. So uh, we don't make uh, 144 uh, liter of urine because whatever is filtered is reabsorbed in the tubules secondarily and uh, 
net absorption is of the order of 95 to 99 percent is reabsorbed and ultimately we make out of the 140 to 150 liters that are filtered just 1 to 1.5 liters of urine so that is the sort of concentration that occurs in the kidney so it is a very unique function uh, glomerular filtration rate is also the way which we are able to assess how much kidney is functioning so once the kidneys become weak the best way to see is that what is the GFR so as the kidneys become weak the GFR keeps on going down so that's one way of looking at it in this whole process it is uh, when they are filtering the toxins one the toxins are released second it is balancing the various electrolytes in the body so a lot of electrolytes like sodium potassium calcium phosphorus they are balanced by the kidney so it regulates them very finely that they remain in a very particular range uh, everyone has to understand that when we are talking when we are moving our muscles whatever we're thinking it is all because of small electrical currents which occur in our brain in the neurons in the muscles and they are all regulated by the electrolytes sodium potassium calcium concentrations or phosphorus concentrations so if these concentrations get deranged the body cannot function properly and so kidney is the organ which balances these electrolytes very finely and keeps them in a very narrow range the other function is the acid base regulation function so whenever we eat something it gets metabolized and metabolic acids are produced so kidney helps to regulate this acid production by excretion of acids and uh, it generates bicarbonate so in that way the kidneys regulate the pH the pH as you know is the way how we measure the acid base status to a very fine value of around 7.36 to 7.44 a very narrow range and all the enzymes of the body they require a particular pH to function so if the pH is deranged the enzymes don't function well and you don't feel well so again this critical function of regulation of acid base or pH is done by the kidney predominantly so these are some of the key excretory and metabolic function kidney does.